Friday, friends. exercises like stretching or yoga and when your health improves you have a lot of energy to do your daily chores so exercise regularly at least 30 minutes a day play outdoor games just like regular exercising spending time outdoors and playing games helps strengthen our body it also helps us to improve our immunity. So, playing outdoor games is a very good and a healthy habit. Use a tissue or kerchief when you cough or sneeze. By using a tissue when you cough or sneeze, you can start spreading these germs to you, to your family and friends. Put the tissue in a waste basket immediately. No tissue? Then cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve, not your hands. Wash your hands or use hand sanitizer for at least 20 seconds. So, don't forget, please use a tissue or kerchief when you cough or sneeze. Eat fresh and healthy food. A well-balanced diet gives us a lot of things such as energy you need to be active throughout the day and nutrients you need for growth and repair of our bodies. Good food eating helps us to stay strong and healthy. A healthy balanced diet can be any variety of vegetables of any color especially dark green leafy vegetables. It can also contain whole fruits, whole grains, milk or water fish or lean protein sourced meat if you eat meat restrict or eliminate junk food or sugar added drinks that contain few or no nutrients so remember to eat fresh and healthy food reach school on time this is a very important habit to learn to arrive on time from a very early age it helps us to learn about routines and commitments and also will benefit 
us in our performance and future professional habits. It also gives us time to greet our friends and have some fun before class. By doing some ways like preparing our school bags, shoes, clothes and other necessary items the night before and going to bed early and waking up relaxed and maintaining such good habits can help us to be on time. So remember to reach school on time. Throw trash in the dustbins. Throwing garbage in the dustbin is a very good practice to start from our homes. Even a small chewing gum, if not properly disposed, can end up in rivers and water bodies, which can end up back into our drinking water, making it unclean. So clean up properly for a clean future. So always throw the trash properly in the dustbin. Stand in a queue to board the bus. It is important for all of us to follow certain rules as these rules help us to keep safety and maintain an order. Pushing or jumping in a queue will create more damage and waste of time. If we maintain calm and wait for our turns patiently, it will help us board the bus quickly. So please stand in a queue to board the bus. Do not scribble on the wall. Hey, we are all artists and an artist loves to express their feelings through their drawings. But these drawings should be to make other people happy. Not sad. Everyone likes art differently and wall is a shared area. So your art would wield scribbles to someone else. Use paper, sketchbook or even canvas to show off your art so that you can keep your creativity safe. So remember not scribble on your wall. Use water and electricity wisely. Electricity and water are one of the top essential and necessary natural resources without which life on earth would become very difficult. Clean water for daily use is available in very limited quantities. Only 3 to 5% of it is usable. If we use less energy, then we can keep the cost or price of things down. Therefore, Turn off unnecessary lights, unplug unused electronics, take small showers and try using natural sunlight and use water wisely and reuse water whenever possible. So remember, use water and electricity wisely. Say sorry when you make a mistake. Saying sorry is an attempt to tell to the person you are hurt that you have thought a lot about their feelings and that you feel very bad for your words or actions. Imagine how you would feel if someone said or did the same thing to you. By thinking how other person felt by your actions or words, you may better empathize with their reaction. Learn to how to realize why we are apologizing and give them time to decide whether to forgive you. So, please say sorry when you make a mistake. Say thank you when others help you. Thank you is an expression of gratefulness. Grateful people feel very good mentally, emotionally and physically. Saying thank you also deepens your friendship or relationships and builds trust with each other. It also helps you to enjoy or solve any problems in a positive way making you a better person. So always say thank you when others help you. 
say excuse me when you interrupt someone we all need to get others attention from time to time in the urgency of our moment sometimes there's just no other way and we need to interrupt someone deep in thinking or talking stand back a little and wait until they look at you then you can use phrases such as excuse me but may i interrupt or i'm sorry to interrupt but or another sentence would be i apologize for the interruption but i had to quickly let you know these sentences should be told in a polite manner so use polite words and say excuse me when you interrupt someone so my dear little friends these were some good habits to learn at this very young age and you can do it right now start small start with a habit that is easy to do in the beginning do it every day make it easy and once you learned a habit don't forget to reward yourself and celebrate it happy learning